It's Saturday morning, and I am in Arroyo Grande, I believe is how you say it. And woke up pretty late, around 11. I didn't sleep well the night before, along with the long drive. Needed to recuperate. I have my safari at three something, so I need to be back. I'd prefer to be back by 2.30, I'd say, just so I can crate her up and uh, head out a little bit early. I'm gonna grab some breakfast and then explore a little bit. Doesn't have to be anything too intense. Maybe we'll just take a walk around. Riley. Good girl. Good girl. Hi, so I'm back at my Airbnb and uh, a couple places. I went to a lake area wanting to hike and it turned out to be a fee area. I needed to pay for a day use and I didn't want to do that because I'm not going to be out there very long. I just wanted to hike somewhere. So I got this market salad. Five Farms market salad. And uh, it looks really good. Let's make sure I get it all nice and mixed up. Oh, I actually have no idea what this dressing tastes like. I hope I like it. But I'm very hungry. I didn't eat solid food for dinner yesterday. I just drank a juice, so I wanted to eat. And I was actually kind of annoying myself with the fact that I picked this food up. And then I spent so much time driving around instead of like allowing myself to sit down and just eat it. I do that a lot, even at my house at home. I just don't prioritize eating. I just have an activity and I wake up and I'm like, let's go out. Let's go do the activity before I even bother eating. Also, since I hardly drank any water yesterday, I need to make sure I drink a lot today. Although maybe, <laughs> maybe I'll stop drinking water in like 30 minutes because I have a three hour safari. I don't want to have to worry about going to the bathroom for that. Puppers, good girl. <laughs> All right, so earlier while I was walking with Riley to look at the horses, I was starting to feel a little bit of stomach pains or like mild cramps. And I had a brief moment where I was like, oh, what if I'm feeling this because I am getting my period? And I did. So I am the most unprepared woman ever because I don't take my period seriously. So I don't have a pad and I need to go get some. It is about, it's hot in here too. It is about 221. So I'm going to just go to Target the Target is located right near where the safari is going to be. I am very early, but you know what? I don't want to sit around anymore. I'm sure I can like enjoy exploring that area for like 15 minutes or something. But yeah, I just need to get myself some pads and I'm very, very excited for the safari. It's a beautiful day, sunny, um, not too hot. So I'm ready for it.
All right, I just got back from my horse safari and I've got some Vietnamese food to eat. And I'm starving, so I cannot wait to dive into this. And I'm happy to see puppers doing well after I've been gone for several hours. So, this is just beef. They do actually have some vegetables in here. I'm still pretty cold right now. That was really tough. Actually, you know what? I'll talk after I'm done eating. I need to chill a little bit before I'll have the energy to speak. Cutie pups. <laughs> You're being a sneaky one. I just figured it would be nice to have her in that little cubby area. At least in the evening. She still sleeps in her crate. But instead of being all the way down there where I can't even see her, she's right here on my level. Right, Riley? Good. <laughs> okay. Let's talk for a little bit. I finished eating. My food was good, but you know, I definitely prefer my meals to have way more vegetables because there was barely any, like non-existent. So I basically just ate beef and some uh, noodles and it was good. It was good. Um, tomorrow I have to figure out what I want to eat for lunch and then I have dinner at the steakhouse that I am really hoping is going to be good. But I am watching Cruella. Uh, I'm also making sure that I'm making up for all of the lack of water that I've had all day. So I would say, I would say I drank 75% of one liter and I'm going to finish drinking this second liter today as well. Actually, let's just say 60% because I gave some water to Riley and I think it's really neat because I gave her bottled water that the host left in this RV and she didn't want it, but when I gave her Evian, she drank it. So she knows what quality is, apparently. Um, the safari was unfortunate because you can't control the weather. So out here in Arroyo Grande and then San Luis Obispo, it was just sunny all day. Beautiful, beautiful day. I guess it was like 65 or so, but it still felt warm. I felt comfortable. But then the moment we get there, the guide, she was 30 minutes late to show up. So that did bug me, but I was still really looking forward to the experience that I was going to have. But yes, basically once we started getting up there, it was the guide and then four of us in a Polaris. And then we were off-roading up the mountain. And once we were there, it was pretty much cloudy the whole time. It was very windy and it was very, very cold. So um, we went up a short way and then we came across a herd of horses. So we stopped and we took some pictures. There was one that came very close and was just hanging around, um, providing really good, great posing shots. It's just really unfortunate because it became very, very hard for me to be excited about what I was experiencing because I was just so uncomfortable and miserable and that just really gets me thinking because every time I've done any trip outside of San Diego so far I have not been able to stay warm mainly because I always underestimate what my discomfort is gonna feel like and I also don't have the right clothing for it because what I own right now is fairly comfortable in San Diego but once I go anywhere else it doesn't really uh, sustain my warmth it does make me think about wanting to get some warmer clothing. And it's not always stuff that doesn't work in San Diego either because there are times where I feel like I need to wear like two to three layers to feel warm in San Diego, especially in the winter months. It does make me sad at times to think about how an experience of mine can be so affected just because I'm cold. And that's basically what happened in Yellowstone National Park. I did a wildlife guide and it was very early in the morning. We pretty much met up around like 5.30 a.m. and then drove down to Yellowstone. It was just me and this one guy. And the entire time during that, I was freezing, freezing, freezing my ass off. I was so miserable. And that's kind of like what I felt like today. And it really sucked to relive that Basically, I was so cold after I had gotten back to my car, I blasted the heater and I was blasting it for, let's say, I don't know, 30 to 40 minutes all the way getting my food and then all the way back down to my RV. And I felt like my hands did not completely warm up until I came in here and it's been a while. So 
I am really excited to look through the pictures though because I did take a lot but after a while I just stopped caring I just wanted to sit there and be miserable because it became difficult to even manipulate the camera. My hand was so frozen, very hard to even move them. Okay, so I am here right now in Montaña State Park. Montaña de Oro State Park, and it is like northwest of San Luis Obispo. And I just need to remind myself, why am I going to shore areas? Because I don't like the beach. So right now I'm surprised the sun is out because just earlier as I was driving in, it's just cloudy all the time. There's a lot of people, usually hard to find parking. I think originally my plan was to come here and just get a bunch of pictures, take a bunch of pictures of things. Um, Cause the stuff that I was seeing online made it seem really beautiful, but I do feel like, especially for a place like this, I'm probably not going to be able to get nice pictures without getting out and walking around. Obviously I can't get super nice shots just from the road or anything. I'll probably just find a hike to do instead. Something chill because I have about three hours before my um, dinner reservation, so I don't want to do anything too crazy. I do really like this area though, actually. It's really open, there's a lot of wineries. I don't particularly like wineries, but when I see the property and just all of the land that they have and just all of the stuff that they have set up, it looks really beautiful to drive around. And then it's also just like, less population so you don't have too many cars on the road and it just tends to be really really beautiful just lots of hills around here it's fairly dry right now all right hi i am leaving soon for my dinner and I am deciding to dress up a little bit more fancy so I'm wearing this denim jacket this is by this is by frame this top is by free people the jeans that I'm wearing I'm pretty sure it's seven for all mankind and then I'm wearing rag and bone booties in black um, this outfit is actually more comfortable than the one that I wore to born and raised uh, Maybe I'll show again really quick, but I'm gonna head out soon. Hi. I always start my videos with hi, but I am home now as you can see and I didn't really end up talking about my dinner at Oxen Anchor yesterday, which is in Hotel San Luis Obispo. So the meal was good. Definitely, definitely way more rewarding to eat there than at Born and Raised in San Diego. So I started off with getting a crab cake and that was really good. Definitely really nice crispy outer texture and then the inside was nice and delicious. I think it was an avocado sauce or something. And then I got filet mignon, eight ounces, medium rare. And that was definitely very good. They provided me with four complimentary sauces that I could try out. I also got a side of roasted asparagus. And that was probably a little bit overkill. I didn't really need to order that. It was also fairly expensive, way too expensive. So I ate, I'd say half of it. I ate some later at my Airbnb. And then for dessert, I got um, strawberry cheesecake. It was definitely much better than 
the cheesecake that I had at Peche, which is my very first fine dining experience that I did in Palisade, Colorado. And that was what inspired me to try out all these other different restaurants because my experience has been really up and down. So Peche encouraged me to try more, but they haven't always been positive. So for example, my very first was Peche. And that one was definitely very, very positive. I was really satisfied with everything. And I actually think that my steak of choice may be ribeye than filet mignon because this filet was definitely cooked well and it was good, but it didn't taste as delicious as the ribeye in Peche, unless Peche is just that amazing. So afterwards, when I was in Casper, Wyoming, I tried this other restaurant i think it was called like silver fox or something i will have to double check but that restaurant the steak was like 40 dollars, and it was not good at all like i did not enjoy that meal whatsoever and then i did born and raised here in san diego which is even more expensive i did a bone and ribeye for 69 dollars and did not like it i'm also positive they cooked it incorrectly because i asked for medium rare and the person that I was with ordered a medium and his was more pink than mine. So I think they got it mixed up. But then for some reason still felt optimistic and I wanted to try another place, another steakhouse. So this one did turn out to be good. Um, I left super, super early. I left at 4 a.m. to drive back because my drive over there was awful. I had so much traffic and I did not want to deal with that again on the way back. So I just decided fuck it i'm gonna wake up early honestly i haven't been sleeping well at that airbnb anyways it was my first time staying at an rv and it might be my last i did not really find it suitable for me i just wanted to try it out however the location was really great and i was so so appreciative of being right next to a horse breeder to go home and always come across all these horses was really really um peaceful and joyful it was nice so anyways, I've been home since 8.30 in the morning and uh, immediately took a nap. Then I went out to eat some lunch. I bought some groceries, bought some dumplings, and then, I don't know, sat here, did a couple other things. But now I'm going to look through all the footage of the horses and the vacation, maybe put together my video. So this is like a weird loop of uh talking about the video and editing it even though this is probably going to be at the end of the video so anyways i hope everyone has been having a wonderful weekend especially today for memorial day and um i'll see you guys some other time